everybody, this is Sherry with CPR Craft Pray Repeat, and I'm here today with a video response for This and That with Michelle, and she's doing a You're the Tops challenge, and what she wants you to do is make um, some bag toppers, and then there's some other things that you need to do, and I will put a link in the description box for you for her challenge video. I do know that you have until June 15th. Guys, this lady is so sweet, and if you could support her in this challenge, it would mean the world to me. I, you know, she's like, well, if I get 10, I want her to get 30. <laughs> I don't want her to get 10 injuries. I want her to get 30 injuries. So if you could help out, that would be awesome. You've got, you know, plenty of time. You've got almost three weeks. And I'm just going to share my bag toppers today. And she did request that your toppers be like around three inches at the smallest. And I have some toppers that are pretty close to that. These, it's a die that I have. And she said, you know, you didn't have to pull out anything special. Use what you had on your desk. So, I am working on Christmas, so I decided to do Christmas toppers, and I'm going to start by showing you this one right here. I think she wants you to have, like, a minimum of, like, three different things going on, and I used uh, Knitwit Collections for this one, and I will link it as well. I thought it would be really cute for some baking things and, and that for my craft fair that I'm going to work on. So I went ahead and I cut out the tag with one of the digital papers. Then I cut this out that also comes from the digital paper. I used um, black Nuvo drops for the little eyes and a white um, jelly roll pen to put the little dot on them just to make it a little more vivid. I used some hemp twine here at the top with a little gingerbread embellishment. And I have three by five bags that will go with each of these toppers and so this is the first one and this one also comes from that same digital collection this one is a different shape i used two different digital backgrounds and then one of the digital images again i used the you can run your finger on them if you only feel like braille little nouveau drops for the eyes i used some small gold bells with a different color hemp twine for that and these are my two gingerbread tags and i'll be right back with my next ones all right everybody here is my next tag i use some authentic paper for this plaid right here this is a 110 pound recollections red card stock for the back just some red white and green twine and then these are some little jingle bells that I got from AliExpress. And I'm going to do a video showing you some of the colors that I've purchased from them to use for my holiday projects. And so I'll be back in another video to show you those. I used a little um, gold and red bobble right here that I got from Mama's Treasures, but she's closed her store, so I'm sorry, I can't link that, or the little Santa, which actually matches the authentic paper exactly. I was shocked. Um, but I got this from Elegant Embellishments, and she doesn't have any now, and I'm not sure if she's gonna carry them, but I will try to get in touch with Dee, and if she is, I will put a link for her store. In the description box for you she may not have these but if you keep following her and you keep checking back she could get them in closer to the holidays and so I just tied the the little ribbon or the little twine on the side so I've got my layer my Santa my embellish my little additional embellishment here my little bells for embellishments my twine those were some of the things that I added and there's a tiny bit of a glare on Santa there. But he's really cute. He's a plastic. Well, you can't hear him because the jingle bells. But he's plastic. And he's dimensional. So he sticks up there a little bit. So I really was tickled to add him as one of the toppers. 
I hope that she likes these. I, you know, she said that you could do anything that you wanted and to use what you had on your desk. And this is what I have because these are some of the things I'm working on right now. So I will be back in one second with the last ones. I mean, she only requests that you send three, but once I got started, I was having fun. So I did five. I'll be back in one second to show you the last two. All right, everybody, I'm back with my last two. And I decided to do little gingerbread. Again, this is another tag similar to, or the same shape as the, um, the gingerbread one. I just used a little plastic embellishment that I got from Elegant Embellishments last year before the holidays. Now these are some of the pink bells that I got from AliExpress. I just used a tiny bit of white ribbon to tie them on with. And this is one of the Hot by Paper pads from last year. And so I used it to get the pinks. And then this little guy just says Happy Holidays here on front. He's holding, or she's holding a snowflake and she's got a little halo there and just absolutely adorable. And I've got them propped up, well I had them propped up, because there's a little bit of a glare on them, um, on the plastic pieces and I didn't want it to be overwhelming. And this is the last one, I just used a different tag topper that looks like this. She's got a little cookie jar that has a heart, so I thought that went perfect with the border here. I used a pin that, again, I got from Mama's Treasures. I hate that she's not open anymore because I loved her stuff. And I put it on top of the little bow that is already in her hair, but it made it more dimensional. This is one of the baubles that I made from BB Craft. And I filled it with micro beads, seed beads, and different colors of pink stars. It's got a bead uh, chain around it here that's got the clip. So you could take it off if you wanted. If you didn't want it on this, you could take it off and attach it to a key ring or whatever. I put a tiny little white bow on top of the... Um, the jump ring and then it's got a little tiny uh, pearl bling in the center there that's got a gold rim around it but the pink matches everything I use Nuvo crystal drops on top of this for the little eyes to make them a little more dimensional and I use the crystal drops and then I use my white jelly roll pen for that and so these are the two pink ones that I made that I'm hoping that she likes. They were fun to make. Super easy. And I'll be back in one second to share them all with you so you can see them one more time. Alright everybody. These are the five that I made. And again, like I said, you don't need to make five. She's only requesting three. But I was having fun so I just went ahead and continued on. And there's one other part to this and that is that you add... Um, a couple die cuts I think let's see I've got it her thing pulled up here it says you make three bag toppers with at least three embellishments on each which is why I pop things up added the Nuvu drops the bells the bows all of that and you know she doesn't have a particular theme she said and then she wants you to add a set of die cuts just a total of two die cuts which I haven't cut mine out yet but you'll see that when you go check out her video when she does the um, when she shows her entries and but these are the ones that I have made I hope you like them please in the description box or in the comment section tell me which one is your favorite I really like hearing which ones you like and why you like them it encourages me to try different things and you know I'm realizing that you know we all like you know different different things it's okay to like different things and it makes it you know it makes it fun to say okay this is what I like but I want to make what you like and so I'm try. I was trying I know that she wanted unicorns but she said work with what I had on my desk and you know she put down 
you know, what her favorite colors were, and pink was one of them, so that's why I added these in, that I'm a more traditional color, Christmas color person, but I wanted to work with what she liked, and that was those. So I really like to hear what you like and why you like it, because it in, in just kind of inspires me to try different things. So if you could do that for me, it would be great. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please go hit that subscribe button. Remember to practice your CPR, craft, pray, repeat. Thanks for visiting me today, guys, and happy crafting. Love you all. Bye.